Salutations, everyone. Um, welcome back to Zelda uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I'm Lord Born. Um, so um, just to give you guys a quick update, I have, in fact, altered some of the recording software um, just because I was having trouble with the last one. But anyway, we just beat the boss over here, the Rubik's Cube-like thing, and uh, we're still heading towards the Red Shrine up there. We got a ways to go, but uh, at some point we shall get there. Oh look, we got a cave here. Um, that'll be good. Especially because we need one. Because we almost definitely have to cook some um, uh, ice. Oh. Something to do cold resist, for sure. And there is a wall there to break down. So let's, oops, let's do a quick, mer uh, quick fuse to the tree branch. Also, restless cricket randomly. I'll take it. So. Chance enemy is in the next area. Probably pretty good. Oh no. Instead we just got a lot of loot. Give me these bright blooms. All the bright blooms for me. Awesome. Okay, and then we got something to smash here. Some flint rubies. Some more flint. Nice. Ooh. Oh, I need a bow. Uh, help if I have a bow equipped. Uh, I think I can climb that high. Did I kill it? I did. Okay. And we got some more of this bu bloom, uh, bubble bloom thing. Ooh, lucky I didn't take damage there. A bubble gem. Okay. So, we need to make something that gives us cold resistance. So, why don't we just make a ton of spicy peppers into something. Spicy sautéed peppers. Cold resistance, 12 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, that should be enough. But in the short run... Um, let's try doing some other cooking. Ah, good. That is a decent recipe, actually. Oh, that's a huge one. Uh, we didn't need to do that much, but uh, I guess I did. Ah, perfect. That is about exactly the right amount of health I want healed at this point. Do one more. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. So I also noted there was more to this cave up here. Let's go see what's up top. Then we may have to come down again so that we can get out in the bottom to go see, uh, to continue up. But in the short run, let's go see what's up here. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's where we just were. Okay, so you could get to here either way. Just a dead end. Nope. Okay, just a bad there hidden exit. Okay, time to eat 
Um, cold resistance item. Okay, we got 12 minutes and 30 some odd seconds to get through here. I am going to... Nope. Was going to shoot those birds, but they fled. Ah, uh, that is an ice two. I remember hitting ice twos. It doesn't end well. On the other hand, weird ghost lemur guy here. Here. Builder constructs and captain constructs are only doing their duty to protect the Garden of Time. At the, at the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I am terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. Uh, I'm okay. Although I do want to kill these guys here. Need some weapons. Definitely need some weapons. Um, Rock Smasher? Oh, that's not good. Apparently the Ice Chews eventually run out of their Ice Chewness. Okay, so... Uh, wooden stick, that'll do nicely as a weapon. Let's see where to go now. So, that is the goal. How the heck do I get there? Uh, not fighting those guys. That would be a start. A hey, cave. I don't see anything else that way. So let's see what the cave brings us. Oh, a massive horde of geese. That's what it gave us. Discovery, the bottomless cave. Along with bomb flowers. Awesome. We've got some bombs. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, I'm going to need an ice hammer, a uh, rock hammer again. What is that noise? Oh, it's another bubble dude. No, I don't want the bow. I want a, a sword weapon. Um, waste of an arrow, but I was wondering if that's the same thing from the first game, where if you shoot it, you get rupees. Apparently not. Okay, so I see a shroom over there, but I don't see anything else. I bet you this is the way we go. Although there is a treasure chest there that I kind of want. It looks like we can simply hold uh, bomb flowers, which means we got bombs now. Kind of an anticlimactic way to give me bombs. Amber. Oh, I can just... Simply climb up here. Although, what the heck is that? It's like a dune worm. Uh, let's see. Would it would a bomb flower work? Uh, well, it certainly does damage, but it doesn't seem to. Do what I want it to. That, on the other hand, did it. Now, the question is, what the heck was that? Whatever it is, it dropped the chest. So I'll take it. <laughs> Give me the chest. Give me the loot. All the loot shall be mine. An opal, that's all it gives me. A like like stone. A strange round stone from a like like, made of crystallized inner fluids. It's a good ingredient for elixirs. That was a like like? That looks nothing like the like likes I remember. Um, well, I guess it looks a bit like them. So, key there. 
get them to stick out whatever that core thing was, and then just kill them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I remember the old Zelda games about ages ago to when I was a young starry-eyed youth. Um, you could throw a bomb in them and it would kill them. So, is there a way for... me to do that? Maybe if I just simply drop it? Nope, that didn't work. I think I've got to shoot it. I mean, this works. Mostly. Flame emitter shield. Interesting. Another like like stone and another chat. Another opal. How relatively useless. I'm concerned about this rock. No Cora. Good. A Zonai device that shoots fire. Flame emitter. Hmm. I'll have to try using that at some point. Okay, we've got seven minutes left on our device. And we've got to find our way up. It looks like at least another level. Oh, that's a nice chew. Don't want to fight you. So, all I have to do is get up that little bit to there. How the heck do I do that? This is just taking me down. I can't imagine going down is where I'm supposed to go. No, I've got to go up there. I don't see a, a rail line. I don't see... I don't see anything. Okay. Thankfully, it's a short climb. Although it is icy. Mm, I hope that isn't a problem. Oh, it is. So, I can't get up here. No, it doesn't work. Okay, so how the heck do I do this? That is just death over there. It's got two of those really strong guys we can't kill. How the heck do I climb up from here? Well, there are some tree roots here. Maybe we should try that. Maybe it's this direction. We didn't explore over here. Ah, there it is. I think that's it. How do we... Oh, no. We can't even get there. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's try climbing up here. Yeah, this must be it then. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Definitely. Talk about a very unintuitive way for you to get up here, though. I'm not impressed. Okay, before we head into the shrine, let's loot everything we can. And hopefully get a, something that gets this off an icy area easier. Flint. Just 
making sure we get all our food. Okay, let's go. Last shrine of the great... What is this? Great Sky Island? Great Sky Island. I wonder what they're going to give us this time. Bhutan Bop Shrine. I wonder if they're continuing the trend of using developers' names all scrambled up. Okay, um, let's quick swap to a different weapon and head in. I wonder what the uh, shrine guy is going to give us this time. Weird lemur goat space dude, sky dude. What are we going to get this time around? No ability to skip this, I guess. Hey, what'd we earn? Ascend! Move upwards through solid material and emerge on top of it. Oh, that's kind of ridiculously strong. That's really strong, isn't it? Whoa! That is ridiculously fun. It's also ridiculously strong. I wonder what the... Ow. Okay, I was right there with the chest there. I wonder what the range is. Stone app. Okay, I'll take it. Ascending! Link has become a mole man! Might as well use up our weak weapons here. Okay, so... Ah, so it's, it's, it's above you. Okay, that's slightly different than I thought it would be. So it's not... You can't use it ahead of you. You can only use it above you. Like that. Okay. More limited than I thought, but still really good. Construct bow. It's giving me a bow. Is there something for me to shoot? No. Okay. So, I'm going to guess, and we'll use the Decayed Master Sword for this. That I should... Yeah. Should be able to do that. Because otherwise, there's no way for me to ascend here. Ah, there is a range to it. Cool to know. Like the Zelda swimming ability just through rock. <laughs> Link has become a mole man. Okay, green hand of Link time. I think we've already seen the shrine intro here. I'll skip it. Another light of blessing we have. Awesome. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Skipping, skipping, skipping. Okay, we've cleared... Well, we haven't cleared, but we've gotten through a lot of Tutorial Island already. So, now we have to navigate our way back. Oh, wait. Are we going to get the glider? Give me the glider. Please, glider.
restored some power to that arm of yours. The door into the Temple of Time should now open for you. Cool Temple of Time, though. Like, that's actually pretty cool looking. There is more stuff over there, though. So clearly we're supposed to leave this way, so let's do so. We still have two minutes on our cold resistance, so two minutes till we have to get out of the area. Uh, zone I charge, treasure chest loot. Interesting quest. Oh, archaic warm greaves. There we go. That helps a fair amount. Not. Right. Can I go through this? I can. Ha ha ha. And I think I found a Korok challenge. Yep, definitely a Korok challenge. You found me! Oh yeah. I gotta say, I really don't like the box. Any chance I can use it to go down? No. So, I can use it to go up. Can't use it to go down. Slightly annoying. Maybe there's a descend ability. Although you couldn't see what you're going down into. Um, hmm. Oh, we got another conversation with... Goat guy. He's looking a little depressed at the moment. Don't I devices with pinnacle of technology? We built an advanced civilization with them and flourished for many years. If you can master the use of the Zonai devices, your quest will be much easier. Okie dokie. I don't know why I'm slipping into a robotic voice when talking about him now. Shouldn't be. Come on. There was a spot. Mole Link. Ah, I was probably trying to teleport into a wall. Oh, is this a Zonai Glider? It looks like it's a Zonai Glider. Okay, uh, first let's loot this other place and then come back and use the glider. Boy, they're really comboing with stuff now. Oh, cool. I can cancel it, too. That's good to know. Lots of Zonai Chargers. It's nice it tells you how much power Zonai Charge gives you for upgrades. <laughs> the Master Sword can run low on energy, even though it's broken. Whatever. A wing, a Zonai device that can harness lift to ride the wing. To fly further, try balancing in the center of the wing. Also, our cold resist is about to run out. I think we'll be fine, though. Because we got those greaves. Now, the bird... Is launched that way. That's not what I wanted. Uh, I would like to fire it towards the Temple of Time. If worse comes to worse, this kills us. Okay, why is this not working? Hmm. Okay, let's wait by the fire until this guy wakes up. Oh, let's not burn ourselves to death, though. Wait by the fire till morning. I think we need a tutorial. Really? They still don't wake up. Come then. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, he's out. Let's talk to him. Uh, my maintenance duties are complete for today. It has been another cycle for, with no visitors. Oh, this is a rarity. It is unusual for me to receive visitors here. I assume you will require Zonite devices to descend the mountain. Would you like to use the device dispenser? I'm fine. It is interesting to have a visitor after so long in isolation. I am happy to address whatever questions you have. Yeah, but how do I go down the mountain with this? Okay, uh, let's try tributing some Zonai devices. Put in. Gumball dispenser time. Wow, that is a lot of them. Should we do another round? Since we seem to have got a lot from that. I don't know if there's like a luckiness to it or something. Oh, thankfully you can skip it. Yeah, they provide a lot of that. Okay, my question is, how do I use the glider? They've got two feet right here. Try balancing in the middle of the glider. Do I drop a Zonai charge or use it? No, that's not it. Put it in a Zonai device to sensor or use it to recover. I, I mean, I see the wing. How do I power said wing? Clearly, I'm meant to be able to glide down from here. Or maybe I'm not. But there are more here, so... Clearly, I'm meant to be able to use them. Do I have to, like, jump on them or something? I mean, there's no advice of what to do here. I'll go talk to Ghost Guy again. If I can master them, but I can't. They're not doing anything. The other one I simply just hit, if I remember. Maybe I have to drop a Zonai device? Or a Zonai core? No, that's not it. Can't push him either. Maybe I'm not meant to be able to use him yet, but it feels like I should. Special controls. No, nothing there. This is odd. Clearly, I'm meant to be able to do something with it, right? But there's no way down. These are. Okay, let's try. Dropping it, maybe? Oh, that's how. Okay. That's dumb to have new tutorial there. I bet you a lot of people didn't figure that out. Oh, I can steer it though. 
Going down. I just wanted to see what's over here. Let's be honest. Very intuitive once you figure out how to use the thing. You just walk around to steer it, but not simple to learn. What is the point of this part of the island? Maybe it's just an area for me to get fish or something. Of course, I failed to get the one fish nearby, so that didn't work. Okay, just random area, I guess. I don't even see a Korok puzzle. Oh wait, here's Ghost Guy. Lemur Ghost Dude. We find ourselves in a sea of clouds. Quite interesting. That would mean we're at quite an altitude. As you heard from the Steward Consort, this land is the Garden of Time. Light of the Kingdom's rites and ceremonies. Though in my day it was on the surface. Why'd you have flying technology if you weren't using it to fly? Whatever. Okay, we gotta go this way then. Strategically place lily pads so you don't drown just swimming around. Kind of nice. Swim, Link. Swim, swim, swim. Okay. I think it's finally time to get out of here and head towards the surface. If that's where it takes us. Although, I could see this being a dungeon here. I could also see it not being a dungeon too, so... Well, let's find out what the Temple of Time has in store for us. If it is a dungeon, we'll stop there. If it isn't, we'll watch it through and uh, continue after that. Spiky bat plus minecart shields. Why not? Okay, let's see what's inside here. Use the great green hand of Link. Epic slow motion door opening. At least it's not the Elden Ring door opening. Or the Dark Souls. Okay, quick look around. I don't see any available loot, but there is this, which looks very suspicious. I forget what the name of those things are. There's a shape for them. They're big thing in Japanese culture, right? Yeah. Or Buddhist culture, I think, actually. Hmm? Ah, who knows? Oh, Zelda is ascended. She can float and fly and meditate in midair. She's like a Super Saiyan or something. Don't take the hand, Link. Don't take the hand from weird floating person. Of course he will, because it's Zelda. Or someone who looks like Zelda. And she's wearing the weird comma. <laughs> We've got a glowing yellow arm now. I mean, new power? 
Nope, our knockoff Triforce version. That must say something. And Zelda vanishes, like creepy, floating, eyes closed women tend to do when they give you gifts. Not through personal experience, of course. We have Recall. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement at any time. Okay. Hmm. Recall. The ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. And Zelda has vanished as well. Wait, you could see the person in the vision even though you're a ghost. Whatever. What you saw, it's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was a sort of echo, one that reflects her sheer will. No doubt you've been given this ability. Now that you've been given this ability, no doubt it will prove important. Like, to get out of this area? Like, that was semi-obvious to me? Uh, okay. Uh, recall. Tick, 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 tock. And I, I think I just accidentally... Yep, I just accidentally skipped the whole other step where they teach me how to use it. Fair enough. And look what it is. It's the Return of the Goddess statue. You'd think in their great temple of time they could have a better carved statue. Also, the goddess statue smiles upon you. Is that it? Oh, and we must not have enough stuff to do it. Instead, time to open a door. Two green hands of Link now. Oh, I have to push and hold. We are still too weak to open the door, apparently. This door stands as a test of your own overall vitality. You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open it. But there is one more shrine on this island. There you can get another blessing. If you add that to the other blessings you received at shrines and offer them all to the goddess, you might just find your way forward after all. You see the pre op pad. The pre op pad lets you travel to certain places instantly. You see all the blue marks on your map? Uh, you can travel to the, them any instantly to any of them. I'd suggest the one at the bottom of the map. Use the travel function to reach that area quickly. You'll find the last of the island shrine somewhere around there. Okay. Well... That, once we travel, is going to be it, because I'm not about to do another shrine. Don't have time. Not today. Okay, but we'll teleport here anyway, just to get it over and done with. Shooting stars. If you see a star shoot through the sky, mark it, you might find something good. Good to know. Okay, well... Thank you, everyone, for watching. That will be it. Uh, let me know if the volume and stuff and the recording quality is still good. I'll watch it myself, but uh, we switched, switched software. Um, it might be slightly different, and I'll have to tweak it a bit. Anyhow, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it. Comments, feedbacks. Do you want me to see more adventure, less adventure, more just exploration? Less talking, more talking. Yeah. Anyhow, see you guys all then. Bye for now.